Earlier today, I saw a lovely physics video from another teacher called Simon, where he posed the question, in this parallel circuit, which of the lamps would light up first? when one is connected by short wires and the other one is connected by long wires. So I'm basically going to use uh, Simon's video as an inspiration. And if you do want to see more that he's done, have a look at his YouTube channel. He's got so many videos that he's made recently and also many resources for teachers with uh, different demos and ways of actually teaching the physics. Anyway, I've got a power supply here. I'm just gonna turn that on. Um, and what I have is a couple of black wires, which are quite short. And I'm gonna attach those to one of uh, the light bulbs like that uh, and then the other light bulb I'm going to attach with these long wires. Now this is just uh, three of them joined end to end. Um, the colour of the wires doesn't make a difference to what's inside but I think this is just a nice way to show that we have two separate loops to this parallel circuit so I'm going to connect it like that and we can see that this one is uh, still connected but it can obviously sit a long way away. Now to get it on the, the screen, I'm just going to put the two things next to each other and then I'm going to turn on the power at the same time. And the two lamps light up at the same time and if I was to turn it off, we can see that as soon as I turn it off, they turn off exactly the same time as well. And even if we were to do this in slow motion, you can see going frame by frame, they turn on at the same time and also they turn off at the same time as well. The way that Simon mentioned this could be explained was using the rope loop model. Now I think this is a really powerful way of explaining what's going on inside electrical circuits. Ideal for students at school uh, from sort of, uh, you know, doing key stage three science, doing GCSE and also A-level physics as well. So I'm just gonna show you what this rope loop model is. Now I'm going to do it on the small scale. And what I've got here is just a cork board uh, and that's quite a nice way of actually setting things up and then here I've got my uh, circuit diagram so you can see we've got uh, the power supply here and then we've got the two different lamps and this one here has much shorter wires than this one over here now the reason that I'm using a cork board is because I can put these pins in uh, and if I put these in at the corners we can then set up our rope. Now, because this is a small scale one, we're going to be using some string that we're gonna tie into a loop, and then we can have this moving around that circuit. So now this is my setup for the rope loop model, or in this case, the string loop model for this parallel circuit. And the string I've used happens to have uh, red and white parts in it, and that means it's very easy to see it moving. And you could maybe imagine that each one of these uh, red points here is a charge carrier within the wire. And the key thing here is as soon as I move it here, we get movement everywhere in the circuit at the same time. And what this means is that it doesn't matter how uh, long this branch of the parallel loop is, we're gonna have instant movement of electrons through the component when the switch is closed and then we've got a current moving in that circuit. We're not waiting for an electron to carry some energy from the power supply through the wires to that component. Instead, it's going to be happening at the same time in both of those things. Now, of course, we can also use this model to explain what happens when we've got an alternating current. So here I've got my power supply. I'm just gonna turn that on. Um, and if I just connect up as we had before, we've got the um, small lamp that's going to this part and then we've got uh, the longer part of that loop going to the other lamp. And I'm just gonna put them next to each other. But now we've got them connected to the AC part. As soon as I turn this on, again, the two things light up at the same time. And when I turn it off, they go out at the same time. And we can explain that really well using the rope loop model. And so with an AC circuit, we have an alternating current. And as soon as we get a bit of movement here, we're gonna get a bit of movement at the same time in both of these loops. And you can see that we don't need to wait for this part of the string to move around till it gets to the component for energy to start to be transferred. And this is actually what happens inside real AC circuits. We don't need an electron to physically take a bundle of energy through the wires to that component. All the electron needs to do is move one place to its left. And then there's going to be this reaction along the whole wire at the same time where they all move one to the left. And therefore what we have is this instantaneous 
uh, switching on of that circuit. And I think this is where the rope loop model can be really powerful, even at this small scale, especially when it comes to explaining what happens in an AC circuit. So uh, thanks so much, Simon, for the inspiration for this video. Uh, I thought it'd be a nice thing to kind of show like this. You can easily do it um, on a tabletop level. Of course, you can do it big scale in a whole class so everybody gets hands on. And I think it really answers the question nicely about which one turns on. And of course, you could do the same if you just had maybe a series circuit. You might have a load of different lamps at different positions, but they will all turn on at exactly the same time because in a series circuit, we can see that there's going to be this one loop that's actually going around. And that means as soon as the switch is closed, we're gonna have the current everywhere in the circuit at the same time. And that means everything would light up at the same time in a series circuit.